Greetings. Good morning. Peace and blessings. Happy Monday. I'm the Moon Mama. How y'all doing? All right. So it is March 1st, you all. It is March 1st already. Can you believe that? It is March 1st already. So this, um, everything is about to hit the ground moving. Like we're about to really launch in ways that are, um, that we've never experienced in our lives and I'm not sure you know I can only be in my own experience and I'm sharing you guys I'm sharing the astrology with you all but um, depending on what you've been focusing your energy and your attention on up till now is where you're gonna be launching from right and so this energy um, oh gosh it's I feel like I have so much to say okay so today is Monday and Monday is the day governed by the moon and the moon is currently at the 11th degree of Libra and Libra is the energy of partnership marriage and partnership like your connections to others so um, and Libra is the energy of partnership and your connection to others so that's not just romantic that is that's you and your children, you know, and it's you and one other. It's always you and one other, not you and a lot of others. And this energy is, um, this energy because of where we are now is like, we're take we're like in, we're relating in new ways. We're relating in new ways. Now, here's what I want you guys to understand about the work that I do. It's about the subtleties. It's about the it's about the seed energy, right? Because that's where the power is. People don't understand. Like by the time you go out and you're trying to do stuff, you've already missed it. The subtleties, the soft energy. That's why you gotta be like water. That's why you gotta learn how to listen. That's why you gotta really cultivate your own internal reality so that you can recognize the subtle in energies the subtle energies is where all the power is that's why people are doing sound baths now and you know um on these plant medicine journeys so that they can break the old um the old constructs down so that you can begin to feel what's coming the newness right so in in libra you want to it's like you are taking on a new way of relating so personally for me, right, I am, um, oh, so I have the South Node in Libra, which means that I am letting go of a whole new way of being, a whole a old way of being and stepping into an entirely new way of being that is focused on me being really deeply true to myself, really profoundly loyal to myself. And it is it's been really challenging because my tendency, because I've been conditioned as a woman to think about others, think about children. I got to get married. I got it. Like, you know, since we were children, we've been hearing all of these fairy tales and Cinderella and Snow White and all those bitches that ain't doing shit for themselves, but waiting on some motherfucking Prince Charming to come rescue them. Right. Well, you know, it's, well, that's why I love Game of Thrones. Um, the 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 younger one um ariel as i think her name is she's like i am not a lady i am not a fucking lady <laughs> i'm not a lady i'm really not and i've always been a tomboy and i've always been independent but then there will be this aspect inside of me that would lose my shit with men right because like i would lose my power i would lose myself and it's like why am i doing that so the work for me now the embodiment is that i'm stepping into as i'm sovereign i'm sovereign i don't need a man to validate me to to um secure me yes i love partnership and i love connecting and i love romance and i love fucking and i love all that stuff but it is not a source of my breath it's not a source of my happiness in the way that i'm not going to survive without it because i am i'm totally going to be completely fine <laughs> with or without it right so it's just a mindset though it's this it's really i'm undoing the mindset of the um 
you know, of the conditioning that says I'm nothing without a man and that I have to, I need a man to get through the world. And, and, and so here's the thing. I always say that when the need kills everything, desire is different than need, right? So it's one thing to desire for me, right? It's, it's one thing for me to desire a man and have an incredible connection with a man. And it's a completely different fucking thing to need one because in the need, it kills any possibilities of growth and passion and joy and fun and lusciousness because need is a suffocator. It need says, you know, Need is a lie, right? Because we are born with everything that we need. So we really don't need anything. We really have everything we need within us. But that is a mindset. That is a consciousness. So I personally am working with this Libra moon to really truly embody myself. Myself. I got what I need. I can create my life. I can, you know, I used to think like, oh, if I had a partner, then they could pay half of this. I don't think of none of that anymore. How I got all this. I'm going to take care of everything, all my needs. And when I come to an experience with a partner or a man or a lover, it's pure joy. It's pure pleasure. It's pure goodness because I'm not coming with my shit because <laughs> I got my shit. I can take care of my stuff, right? So look and see what this Libra moon is offering for you. At the 11th degree, it's about flowering. It's literally about a becoming. So whatever we've been focusing on, whatever we've been planting, right? It's starting to become. So based upon that, we're going to be starting a new moon cycle. Um, we're going to be having our marketing moon cycle event tonight. So if you want, if you're considering joining the moon work, let me tell you guys about this moon work. I have been doing this moon work for about mm, 15 years or so, about 15 years. And it allows me to create whatever I desire. I have gone into spaces and been like, okay, I want to get this. And then I will go, you know, like, like I want to start, like I have a relationship with somebody and it's like, I feel like the communication isn't good. And then I'll just say, okay, I'm going to run a moon cycle on it. And I will set an intention for me and that person to communicate better and do and do the work for a moon cycle and literally watch the communication change because the moon governs the psyche and the memory and the emotions and all of that. And the body is pulled through the water. So when you set intentions and you charge your energy in one direction and you use the moon, you open up all these possibilities, things that you've been stuck on that you couldn't move like you know weight stuff like I I don't I don't have weight stuff anymore because I've I understand my connection to the moon and, and my body has changed all of that like I don't have money stuff anymore and all the stuff that I had because I understand how to use the moon cycle so if you want to come to this marketing event send me a private DM message and I will give you the zoom link it's tonight at 6 p.m. it'll be recorded if you can't make it um, and the moon is the moon cycle is we every month we have a different theme according to where the new and full moons are and you learn how to really use your energy and your power according to where the moon is and your chart and where the it's just come do it come do it i'm telling you because we are magical people and we have to understand how to use the magic and it's not what we've been taught it's not what we've been taught so um today Look at with this with this moon in Libra today, and it's just out of the full moon. It's about flowering, what you're becoming, what you've been planting, you know, whatever you've been thinking about. So as we've been in this experience with COVID, you know, have you been planting health and wholeness and well-being and taking good care of yourself? Have you been planting wellness for your community, for your family, for whatever you've been planting, that is coming to manifestation now. What a great time we're to be alive in, right? Um, so what else do I want to say? Um, the rebirthing course, the rebirthing course next week is going to be our second course with Wayne Bird register i'm telling you these courses are so good because they are going to help you understand how to access the subtle energies the subtle powers and that is where you know literally it's gotten to the point you all where i can just think of something in my mind i can think of it and within 24 hours 
<laughs> you know, I can think like I've shared with you guys like, oh, I want I want to have kombucha. And then my neighbor's like, oh, Monique, I'm going to do this. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be making kombucha and I'll give you 12 jars of it every month. Oh, OK, great. You know, I just I think things into existence. Why? Because I have taught myself how to find the subtle, subtle energy, subtle power. I don't have to I don't have to lift a finger. You know, things just come effortlessly. It's all internal because everything is as above, so below, as within, so without. So join the rebirthing class. Join the 13 moons class. Come learn how to do this so you don't have to spend your life struggling and trying to figure shit out and relationships don't feel good and you don't like people and people don't like you and your health is all like you that that's that shit is over with <laughs> that's that western shit that's that western shit that's all built on competition and capitalism and you know this idea that you are a slave but we are not slaves we are gods and goddesses honestly we really are <laughs> That's the thing. I'm, what I just said, we are gods and goddesses. And you've got to understand the technology of the universe to tap into your divine mm, inheritance, to tap into your divine inheritance and live it out each and every day. All right. More to come, you all. I have so many incredible things to share with you soon. Oh, my life is so magical. It's so magical. And... I just, it just is ridiculous to be here alone. And I'm not here alone, but you know. All right, peace and blessings. Have a wonderful day. Bye.